the Japanese. Okay, uh, so what, what we have on the Japanese tree is the key 27 Otsu, um, key 40, and I want to do Otsu, J7W1, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Kitsuka, Kitsuka, I don't know, um, R2Y2, uh, V1, R2Y2, V2, R2Y2, V3. Now these planes, oh my gosh, guys, these are going to be incredible. Oh yeah, oh, the Nika. I got gotcha. you. Cool. The uh, Japanese crappy uh, ME262. I mean, it's really not that crappy because uh, it was built from like I think like blueprints, and they didn't really have like a model or like a like a Umo engine to like really look at, which is incredible how they did that. Because you know back then they had no idea how jet technology worked other than the Germans. Um, but they wanted they wanted the jet fighter, but it really wasn't that good at all. So we're we're gonna take out the J7W1, the Nika. Uh, the R2Y2 V1, R2Y2 V2, R2Y2 V3. Okay, so let's get these things researched and built up. Okay, here we go. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the uh, ME or like the the Nika first. Uh, as we can see, it's less it's less sleek than the ME262. Same, you know, engine a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, not very that. You know, it's not as sleek as the ME262, but it does resemble it to a bit. Um, one of the downsides of this aircraft is that it has only one 30 mil with 50 rounds in it, right here. Now, as I remember, you can upgrade it to a point to where you get um, an additional 30 mil. So we'll try that real quick. Okay. Th did that work? Maybe, maybe I'm lying. I thought it had... Okay, so now we have two, because I think we bought that extra cannon, but it doesn't show up as like an attachment uh, for your aircraft. Now where is that other 30 mil at? Is that it right here? Um, I don't see the other 30 mil. I th thought we had one before. I'm pretty sure we had one. Oh, here we go. Okay. Select, select. Okay. Maybe, did I don't know if we had... Okay, good. I'm not confused anymore. Allows installation of an additional cannon. And you, you, you can select one here. Or you can select one or two here. Okay, so this plane's fully upgraded. We'll take it out. Test flight it for a little bit. See how horrible it is. <clears throat> Ooh, we're on Peleloo. Peleloo. Wow, gorgeous looking aircraft though. Nice and... It's a lot smaller than the M222, it feels like. Just by like, you know, how big the 222 looks when you're on the runway or on the ground. So this one looks kind of short. I'm going to put some takeoff laps on. We're going to get the engine spooled with some brakes. And we're rolling. Cockpit? Oh, that cockpit is horrible, but cool looking at the same time. Great, great rear visibility. Uh, front, I don't really like too much. There's too much um, fuse, or a, uh, a superstructure to block my view when I'm tracking a target. But over practice, you can definitely learn to deal with that. Not bad takeoff roll, actually. I kind of like this aircraft so far. I mean, not like it's going to be good, but I kind of like it's just cool looking. Gear up. Got a sneeze coming. Oh. Oh, I hate when that happens when you have to sneeze and it goes away. It's the worst thing in the world. We're accelerating about... You know, 10 kilometers every one Mississippi, two Miss every 10 seconds. Pretty slow. Uh, flaps are up, right? Correct. Oh no, okay. Flaps are now up. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. I, refer I, forgot, I forgot to retract them properly.
Put in a 15 degree climb. Now, as we can see, our other 30 mils on the other side of the nose, is, you see the two little muzzle, muzzle brakes right there. Now, I wonder um, how this plane will be used in jet battles. Now, with its, with its much slower speed, I think it's 100 kilometers slower than the ME-262, or maybe 50, 50 kilometers slower. I have to use this as a support aircraft. Um, but also it has ability to be a bomber hunter, which is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, even though it has 100 rounds of 30 mils, uh, if you hit him correctly on a B-17 right in, like, the wing, you know, it'll break right off. Sometimes. Okay, very slow climb rate, as we can see, but that doesn't mean you can't climb away from the enemy, then climb up. But that's always a nuisance and annoying. Okay, now we're at a 20 degree climb as we climb in altitude just to give the plane a little bit benefit of the doubt right now. Alright, good. I thought we were sliding or slipping in the air. At 20 degrees, we're starting to lose our main um, point of a jet, the fast speed and the compression. We're starting to lose that right now. We're dipping down to about 250 kilometers an hour. Still not that bad, actually. But I, I would rather be at around 310 kilometers right now. We're at 3K. And uh, I was climbing at about 10 degrees and 15 degrees for a good portion of the climb. Um, so the climb rate isn't that bad. Okay, now we're getting a little stall indicator at 250 kilometers an hour. <clears throat> we're going to pitch it down. Yeah, we're stalling right now. As you can see, the plane doesn't want to pitch down at all. Not enough wind over the... the oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm coming down, he said. Okay, we're going to check its mobility out. Slow roll. But it's, uh, that also could be, we're at a slow airspeed right now. Got to find that right airspeed for this plane. So not that bad with my rudder input and aileron input. I'm going to put it for a full turn. Mediocre turn. I'm going to try to get the combat flaps. Not the best turn, but it's still mediocre. I mean, th this is a mediocre jet. You know, it's not. It's not. It's not going to be like the best jet ever. I would compare this to a, um, maybe a, not P eighty, um, F eighty C. Maybe, maybe might compare it to the F eighty C. Might be a little bit better, um, in some regards. But this is what I would compare this jet to if I had to. Let's right, check out the top speed of it. I don't think we'll achieve it here, but we'll get close to it. Slow acceleration to dive. Yeah, so I think it's around... We're going to try this again because I actually want to find this out. It felt like it was going to be around 920 or 900 kilometers an hour where I would start to uh, go red line at sea level. Great elevator input or uh, control. That's nice. I'm gonna see this if so. Let's see. We see a target off my right wing. I'm gonna track it real quick. Let's see how good the rudder stays on target. Yeah, we got a little rudder tendency right there. I don't really like that too much. It's all right though. Kind of all big heavy aircrafts have that tendency. 
Spitfires don't. Those things are awesome. Okay, I'm gonna level up at 3,000. Air brakes? No air brakes. Just like the ME262. We're on a, a speed up to 400 kilometers an hour, then go for the dive. That's good enough. Here we go. Wow. I thought it would be breaking right now. <laughs> it has... It has decent dive characteristics. That's not bad at all. Full G pitch. 10 G's full. Wow. This plane might not be that bad as I thought it would be on paper when I researched it. Nice. Alright, so that's the uh, Nika. The ME262 Japanese edition. Now we're on to the cooler stuff. The J7W1. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to close my eyes and show it. I can't see it now. Is it cool looking? Is it cool? Oh, <laughs> oh I have happy feet. When I get really happy, I start tapping on, on my floor. Look at that beautiful plane, guys. Look at that gorgeous. Fr is, that, is that a five blader? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six. I'm sorry. I can't count when I'm excited. Look at this gorgeous aircraft. Really? Do I really want those? Alright, so the J7W1, let's check it out on the stat card. I'm gonna take it for a little flight. 632 kilometers an hour, max speed. We can go, definitely go past there. Um, but that's. Climb rate's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. The Nika has a little bit better climb rate than it. Um, one second burst, though, guys, is 10.13 kilograms a second. The Nika is only like 2.5. So this plane has 430 mils of Doom Type 5 cannon, same as the uh, Nika in the Key 200. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn the, the, uh, the plane off real quick. So cool. Look how high it is off the ground, just by its gear. Look how long its gear is. All right, you can turn off now. Thank you. Cockpit. Beautiful. Now, I want to see those elevators in front of me go up and down the cockpit, which I don't see right now. Do I see it right? Hmm. Maybe they're not... I don't know. Whatever. Okay, back to the cockpit. Nice looking thing. Beautiful. Rear. Decent. Okay, engine on. And we're going. Wow. Holy acceleration. Gear up. Look at that. Look at that long gear. Holy shit. That looks so sick. Look at this thing. Very mobile right now. Awesome stuff. I'm going to take it for a little bit of a climb. Shoot the guns off real quick. Sorry, I'm losing, losing a lot of my speed on this climb doing that. Okay, climb rate. Getting OP right now. I, 
think we'll still at 265, hopefully. Maybe not, no. Ooh, it might, it might. Come on. That'd be optimal for this climb right here. Okay, we're already at 1,000 uh, meters right now. Great climb rate, a lot better than the Nika. Damn, I almost called that. 265 is, is his ideal climb rate at about 25, 24 degrees. Yeah, it's holding there, yeah. Wow, nice. Great climbing aircraft right here, guys. I believe this plane was designed to engage B-29s. Um, so it had to climb fast with a lot of armament. And it looks like the intakes are like right here on the side of the uh, cockpit. You see them right there? That's so epic looking. Well, yep, now now we're increasing speed at this climb. I, I, I think I'll go for a complete 25 degree climb. There we go. That climb rate is phenomenal, guys. Now, I wonder what those little wheels on the... Uh, on the... Hey, Turbo Slay, I'm glad you joined the stream, man. Thanks for the donation. Very honorable. Very honorable. I don't know what those uh, wheels on the uh, stabilizers are. Or like the rudders, I guess you would call them. Maybe just a... I don't know. <laughs> okay, now we're already at 3K. This is awesome. You know, it's not the best climbing aircraft, but it's it's definitely up there with some of them. I can't stop looking at it. I, I, I just can't believe I'm flying this right now. I've been waiting for this plane for so damn long. Okay, we're going to cease here. Okay, we're going to build this plane speed up a little bit. Mobility is... Well, it was decent at lower altitude. Now a little bit higher. The air's a little bit thinner. That shouldn't really matter too much. We're not that high. There we go. Okay, we, we got it back at about 400 kilometers an hour. Now, the turning is going to be really questionable this plane because a lot of like the only canard design in the game right now the xp55 is one of the stupidest planes i've ever flown it has a ho it doesn't turn like it it doesn't turn it's i don't like it <laughs> i don't i don't like it okay so now we're at final kilometers an hour this is a pretty decent combat speed or not you know the ideal combat speed but it's a combat speed um so we're tasting for it through its ropes right now uh mediocre roll higher than normal Elevator and negative elevator is very decent. Rudder. Wow. R crazy rudder. So let's try a rudder turn. So that flipped us over onto our side very well. Turning is... Not bad. Energy retention. Oh my fucking gosh. Let's see how this plane stalls. Flaps, recover. Wow. Okay, engine just overheated at a, in about... I, I, I don't have a time limit, but it seems like maybe, maybe five minutes, six, seven minutes into the game. Takes me for a nice dive. There we go. We're going to break up here. Okay, we're able to pull out of it from our... Uh, Guns, I, I didn't d decrease my engine until later, I was wasn't thinking. I didn't even know what our top speed was, I think it was like 8, 846, nice, nice top speed for a plane like this. I'm gonna go land this baby. We'll get low to the water too. Yep, 
It actually has really great tracking compared to the other planes. Look at that uh, reticle on my mouse right now. It's just staying right on it, you know. There's not too much, you know, uh, faulty rudder with it like the uh, um, Nika. Some Wow, look at that plane shake. Some pretty good rounds too, you know, decent ammo capacity. I think we had like 300 rounds at the start. Oh good, it will reload the cannons a little bit and I'll be able to see how much ammo we had at the start. Look at that acceleration though, that's, that's that's remarkable. That's really nice. This is gonna be a really good addition for the, the Japanese uh, Imperial uh, Air Force. Imperial Air Force? Or Imperial, I'll just say Japanese Air Force. Okay. We have 240, sorry about that, miss. No confusion on how much ammo we had. Oh, there's a runway. Bad landing, I'm still learning these planes. <laughs> that was a really bad landing. Uh, so it, it looks like this plane likes to uh, be coasted in at about 210 kilometers an hour. I was around 200, 190. Didn't really like that. Can we flip? There we go, that's a good test. Uh, so be careful with braking uh, full with the tricycle gear on the J7W1 as it will um, put too much stress on the front gear. And I, 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 I kind of thought about that just because um, of how flimsy that gear leg is. We'll repair in 40 seconds. Uh, we'll just go look at it, look look at it in the hangar to see how flimsy it is compared to the other gear. Yeah, so be careful on braking on on the front gear leg. See see how small it is. A lot of lot of braking. Too much braking force on that front gear leg will break it. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna start with our R2 Y2s. I'm gonna take out one of them. I don't want to take out all three. It's gonna be a little too much time consuming for this video. But these planes are gonna be freaking sweet looking. Um, the cool thing about these planes is that they're like pretty much fighter bombers. Um, they have 430 mils uh, with a 600 round capacity, which is really awesome. Uh, we'll upgrade the last one. So let's just kind of see the difference from the upgraded ones. First one's 811 max speed, non upgraded. Next one's 814 not upgraded, and the last one's 812, not upgraded. Um, so what are, what's, we're, we're gonna upgrade the, we're gonna, we're gonna upgrade all of them, see which one is the fastest. Armored piercing bomb, ground bomb, so high explosive. So, th so this is an armored piercing bomb maybe for um, ships and stuff. Now we're at 865 with this one, or the R R2 Y2 V1. They have some pretty cool camos too. I really, I really enjoy these camos on these planes. Same bomb load. Top speed is the same. Okay. Wow, look at the difference. I I I didn't really take into appreciate the difference of these ones. So here's the R2 Y2 V1. Get a little more sleeker with the R2Y2 V2. That's that's a very nice looking aircraft. I and, and as we can see, the engine from the V1 moved to internally or you know on the fuselage to the V2 with the inlets right there. Beautiful. And the R2Y2. Do we okay this one yet? Yeah, okay. Uh, V3, which has it internally, kind of like the MiG-15 or like um, has has a front nose intake. Okay. So top speed will be the same throughout all three models, which is kind of weird. Um, 
I don't understand why this one has, you know, at least in the stat card, the same top speed as the uh, V3, which is very, very, it's, it's, it's very slick compared to the V1 as the engines are now internal and not even poking out at all. And the inlets in the nose compared to the V2, which has inlets on the wings. Um, yeah, okay. Modifications, bomb load same, armament will be universal. Let's take it out for a little flight test. This is one of my most favorite, like, anticipated planes uh, to come up in this patch. You know, and the cool thing is I, I, I never heard of this plane at all. No cockpit, damn it. I was really looking forward to that open cockpit. Now, I'm pretty sure these, I don't know, I don't know. Um, from, you know, just some small documentaries I've seen these planes doing my research for my videos. Um, these planes were initially designed to attack uh, uh, U.S. ships. And uh, drop their bombs and head home. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's not. That's what I remember from my little brain. Takeoff roll is slow as in, as expected. This plane's gonna be awesome though. The Japanese Arado with four 30 mils. Hey, off the ground. Gear up, flaps up. And look at that plane, look how sleek this thing looks. We'll do a little test on the Japanese carrier. Now we'll go on the... Mm, one of these heavy cruisers. Now I can't tell what kind of class that is. It has two fronts and one back. Is that a tone class? I don't think so. No. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Tone has three front ones, I believe. Alright, so check out the 30 mils. It's gonna be great for ground strike, and it'll be great for helping out your teams against uh, American bomber spam. Spam, but you know, honestly, the Japanese have uh, B-17s now, so rest in pepperonis. Air brakes? No air brakes. That's too bad. Tango down, just like that. It's 800 kilogram bomb on a, like a pretty much like a medium or light slash heavy cruiser. We'll go straight some ground units real quick. So bombs off are a little bit faster right now. I can just feel it. Here we go for a run. I don't want that bomb on me right now. Hi, bomb. See you later. This is going to be sick, guys. This plane is going to be so sick to use against ground strike and to assist your team into uh, some um, crucial kills to win the game. We'll do one last strafing run. Strafing run, yeah, 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 okay. I, I, I wish it had air brakes though. That would make this plane just so much more enjoyable to fly. Nope, that bomb came back. The plane's like, fuck! What's all this additional weight for? Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun to use. 
Ladies and gentlemen, R2Y2 V3. So pumped.